Texas. Medical journals tell of the strange case of the man who went for a drive and noticed that the trees and buildings by the road were speeding by as if he were driving at 200 miles per hour. He eased up on the accelerator, but the cityscape continued to whiz by. This man perceived the world as having accelerated. In reality, he had slowed down. He walked and talked in slow motion. He had become unstuck in time. It turned out that his time sickness was caused by a brain tumor. Whatever time is, it's deeply wired into us. We are all clocks with our own internal time. David Eagleman suspects that going even slightly out of sync with the flow of time can lead to serious mental illness. I think that schizophrenia might fundamentally be a disorder of time perception. So imagine if there were some deficit in your time perception where you didn't know if your own actions were coming before or after the sensory consequences. What would happen is you would have a very fragmented cognition. You wouldn't know which things you caused and which things you didn't cause. To show how flexible our personal time can be, David devised an experiment that subtly warps a test subject's perception of time. So imagine that I have you press a button and that causes a flash of light. Now I inject a very small delay so that when you hit the button, the flash of light comes, let's say, a tenth of a second later. What happens is your brain gets used to that delay. It starts understanding that when it puts out this act, the sensory feedback is a little bit slower than it expected. So it starts adjusting to that, and it starts to seem simultaneous to you. Now, if I remove the delay, so now you hit the button and the flash happens immediately, you will believe that the flash happened before you pressed the button. This is exactly what happens in schizophrenia. Somebody will make an act and say, it wasn't me. I, I don't feel like I was the one who caused that.